Hi YouTube, it's Jen from Jen's Journey. I am coming at you with one week post-op. So let's go ahead and do the numbers, which is the highest recorded weight, 245 pounds. The start of my journey itself was 233 pounds. The day of surgery, 216 pounds. And the current weight as of today is 204 pounds. I'm kind of super excited. I should be in Wonderland within the next two weeks, and that's awesome. I haven't seen Wonderland in probably 11 years, I think. So, and that's even you know pushing the edge of Wonderland into into the 200s. So I'm I'm super excited. Uh, let's see. I only uh, hopefully. Oh my God. Hopefully, this is a short video. I want to talk really quick about um, a stool softener. Please make sure you have something at home you can take after surgery. If you don't have anything in your surgical paperwork that states a stool softener, please ask your surgical team about having something done. You're definitely going to want to take something. I promise, promise you are going to want to take something after surgery, especially if you're giving narcotics. I had um, the wonderful experience over the weekend. I actually had to go to the emergency room Thursday night because I was so just, I guess, backed up. And I overlooked taking a stool softener. I was more concentrated on surgery and how the pain was going to be and how recovery and, and the whole new thing that a stool softener was definitely not in my forefront. And I should have known better. Um, but I didn't. I, I didn't. So I'm paying for it now. Um, so please just make sure you have something. If you know, right now I have Colace in the house and Miralax. Um, Miralax, you can go ahead and just add it to a little bit of water. Well, eight ounces, not a little bit, but eight ounces of water. It dissolves. You can't taste it. You can't see it. And just drink like your liquids normally. And the Colace I have in pill form, which obviously you have to take. My surgeon said it was okay to do that. So just double check Miralax. You should probably be able to have, just get something in the house. You just never know. So, I don't know. Oh, I did see my surgeon Friday for my first week post-op appointment. And everything is great. Incisions are great. Um, I guess I'm considered a rock star patient. I'm in there, you know, taking, still taking the stairs. I don't, I don't like elevators. And... He, you know, he cleared me for driving, and he cleared me for all my exercise routine. I just can't go swimming, which is a shame. I understand why you need to let your incisions heal a little bit till you kind of soak in the water. So, um, but I am a little, you know, swimming as I love swimming. I run for charity over the over the summer. You know, I run fat, I'll run skinny, I don't care. But swimming is kind of my. I like to off train, and swim helps my endurance. Um, but what are you going to do? you got to follow the orders. This is something new. It's not a, a small surgery. It's, it's a life-changing major surgery. So you really, I mean, if you want a good long-term outlook, you're going to have to really pay attention to the beginning stages of what's going on. Um, so please don't even cheat. If your phase, if in whatever phase you're in, it says you can only have this, only have that. I was hearing stories when I was in the hospital of people coming back a couple days after they got discharged because they were eating steak. For me, that's crazy. I, I don't know. I mean, and then they have to have it surg surgically removed, and it causes damage, and who wants to go through that? So just don't. I currently am in phase two. I officially started yesterday. I was supposed to start the day before, but because of my BM issues, I, I took an extra day. I did have half an egg, which was really good. I could have probably ate the whole thing, but I just... Because of the issues, I just didn't want to add any more to it. But this morning I had an egg, about three quarters, with a little bit of ketchup. Went down okay. I added a little bit of fiber into my egg before I cooked it, you know, just to kind of help things. And for lunch, I get to have some tuna and added with a little bit of mayonnaise. So I'm excited about that. I'm having a difficult time, and I'm going to be honest, getting my liquids in, even my protein. All of a sudden, my protein powders... Um, they, I'm going to just, they taste like ass. I can't, I drink Premier Protein and it's too thick. I drink Muscle Milk and 
for whatever reason it's too sweet. I have Andre Unpowdered, Unpowdered, Andre Unflavored, and I can't seem to mix it into anything right. Um, I want to put it in soups. It just it gets all gross and crumply. I just can't, and I won't eat it. Um, I do have Syntrax iced tea protein and a chocolate, triple chocolate protein, but I'm kind of all chocolate out, to be honest with you, and I don't know. So if you guys have any ideas on maybe what protein you, supplement you guys are eating um, or drinking, please let me know. I'm only trying anything just to kind of get that extra protein in. And liquids. I never thought like getting water would be so damn hard. I probably only drink like 30 ounces a day and I need 64 so I, I'm not sure if you guys if any of you guys especially the veterans out there have kind of figured out how to get all your liquids in even around you know your foods like for me I know I have to I have to stop I can eat I have to stop 30 minutes before eating I can't drink any liquids and then I have to wait an hour after I eat to have more liquids so if you guys have any ideas or tips on how to go ahead and get my 60 bronzes in, that would be super. So I guess that'll be it for now. It's like almost a seven minute video. So I don't know. Any tips, tricks, whatever, any comments, questions, please let me know. You know, comment in the section below. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great, great day. Bye.